All right, here's how you pressure check and vacuum check a lower unit. I made this up from a, a lower unit uh, oil pump. I just took the oil pump fitting off and just cut this old Schrader valve, bicycle valve, jammed it in there. This is a steel one, but same concept. Jammed it in there and put a clamp on it. And then I hit it with a little bit of air from my air compressor and then check it with this digital gauge. I mean, ideally you can put an inline gauge and do all that, but I wouldn't go into the store, so I just came up with this. And here are the instructions on how to do it. The pressure check it first, and then vacuum check it. This is an OEM service manual for V4 and V6s. But yeah, I have it I checked it at 6 PSI and it held, so now we're up to 15 PSI, and I'm going to let it sit like this for 30, 45 minutes. I know the instructions don't say do that, but that's what a lot of people do, and I'm going to make sure this thing's good. I'm going to let it sit for like 45 minutes, then I'm going to get this vacuum checker right here. This is uh, it's from... AutoZone or whatever. Any parts store sells these. And see, it's got a gauge on it. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to take the Schrader valve, I'm going to take the valve out of inside this and just put this hose on here. And then pump it up. I'm going to pump it up to whatever it says it's supposed to be. And see if there's any leaks. Uh, hopefully it should be good because I do this thing by the book and I really don't know anything else if it leaks so yeah oh make sure make sure you put if you're filling it if you're testing it through the bottom testing to the top whichever make sure you put your uh, plug in there and get it nice and tight with a new with a new nylon or uh, was it vinyl washer on the back of it so that it seals good so that it don't leak from there and then you're chasing and wondering where the leak is. But yeah, I got this spray bottle with some soapy water in it. I'm about to spray that all over the leak points up here. Let's see. Spray it on here. I'm going to move the shift rod. I mean, before I did this, there was just bubbles just coming out of here. Spray it all around here. Get all that good stuff. Well, that's not really going to show anything because it's the drive shaft seal under there, but I don't think that's going to be leaking. And then get a little bit of water on here. And now the hard part is you're not going to be able to see this, but squirt some way down in there. And then get your light and make sure that big O-ring down there is seated good and not leaking because if that leaks, you have to, it's going to be a mess to fix. And look for bubbles. Hopefully there aren't any. If there is, you got to take it back apart. Make sure you spray your prop shaft seal to make sure that's not leaking. Mine ain't leaking. I don't see any bubbles or anything on anything, so it's good. But yeah, don't I forgot. Make sure you spray this. I mean, ideally, if you got like a leak somewhere that you can't find, you might as well do it with the water pump off, you know, and spray the drive shaft seal too if you suspect it's leaking from there. But like I said, I put all new seals in this thing done by the book, so I really don't anticipate any leaks, but. Put a little on here just for make sure none of that's leaking. That's not leaking. That ain't leaking. That's not leaking. Oops. That's not leaking. Nothing's leaking. I don't see anything leaking. Well, let's go over here and check. It's going to be kind of hard to do with one hand, but. Fourteen five. Okay, so I had it at fifteen, fourteen five. 
I'm about to pump it up. It says it's 16, 18, but I read a lot of guys here. We'll see. I need to put a little oil on there. It's leaking. That's where it's leaking from. But yeah, you get the general idea. That's how you do it. And uh, pump it up. Don't 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 go crazy on the pressure. Don't put like, you know, 50 pounds of pressure, 25 pounds of pressure, or whatever. Don't go crazy. Like it says, start with three to six, and then go to 16 to 18 if that holds. Because if you put too much pressure in there, you're gonna blow out the O-rings and stuff, and you're gonna make a mess. Don't you're gonna break something. So. Uh, if you also got a leak, you can take it and just submerge the whole thing in water, but I'm not trying to do that. Okay, here's my vacuum tester set up. I got it hooked in here, so I didn't have to take this back apart. I just took a little Schrader valve out of the inside. And it's held 5 inches of mercury for 15 minutes, so now I'm going to go up to 15 and see if it holds. You just pump it up. I don't know how high it'll go, but that's what the manual says to do, so that's what I'm going to do. Just pump it back. And there's 15. Now I'm going to let it set for like 15 minutes, see what happens. But it held uh, 15 PSI for when I pressure checked it. It held that for 45 minutes, so it should be good after this. Okay, it held 15 inches of mercury for like 15 minutes, so it's good. I'm going to go ahead take this fitting off right here and put my fill pump on here. And then fill it with marine oil. Make sure you use marine gear lube if you don't. Regular gear lube won't work because it, this has additives in it, so it mixes with water in case water gets in there. Regular gear oil won't do that. It'll just separate. And if it separates, then you have water and oil separate, and you want it to mix if water does get in there. That way you have still have lubricant. You don't have just water in there. It'll mix with it. So make sure you get this upright. Take the vent, uh, plug out. Fill it up until it comes out the vent plug. Plug that, take this off, put your plug in there with a the new uh, washer, and then put your lower unit back on and torque everything down, and you should be good to go.